Get it again. This is episode 53. We're talking rules of engagement. The full Get Into Gate crew is here. My name is Mitch. And joining me, as per usual, Matty Gibson. What up? Hey, mate. Brendan. Hello. And Reese. Hi there. We are three Stargate fans introducing a new viewer to the show, that being Reese. Hi there. 20 years on. We've got a nice little mix of nostalgic <laughs> views, hindsight views, person. He's and just fresh. A soundboard. <laughs> yes. And someone just lent on the high there. Sorry. Wait, press our favorite soundboard button. You know the one I'm talking about. Press it. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. I love it. I love that one. So good. That's from my private collection. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's break down this episode as we do each and every week. Let's refer to the uh, physical medium that is the DVD <laughs> and uh, see what's going on in this week's synopsis. SG-1 lands in the middle of a blazing battle between Stargate soldiers and a Jafar army. Believing the soldiers to be the missing in action SG-11 team, O'Neill and the others provide assistance until the mystery team turns its weapons on SG-1. Oh, yeah, give it to me. <laughs> 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 Reese. What, oh, hold on. Oh. Um, what uh, episode number did you say this was, Mitch? Episode 53 of Get in the Gate. We are officially one quarter of the way through the series. <laughs> yeah. That sounded like a mass murder at the start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quarter of the way. Yeah. Quarter of the way. Oh. Through SG-1. Through SG-1. Yeah. <laughs> Just SG-1. Just SG-1. Still got Atlantis. Oh, good. Nah, good. Stargate Atlantis. <laughs> And uh, Stargate Universe, if we want to. And Origins. Obviously. No, oh, yeah. yeah that's... Well, that only <laughs> takes about 10 minutes, so that's fine. <laughs> 10 episodes. <laughs> we'll just do one, like... On the season. Yeah. 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 Mm. Season review. No, no, no. We'll do 10, 10 minutes. Well, you want to do a whole yeah. podcast from 10 minutes. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and, and, <laughs> well, at least an hour. Like an hour talking about each 10 minutes. Maybe yeah. we should just do a video cast or something. Hey. I like it. Or like a, a goggle box. It's only a 10 minute video, so we're just watching it, paying it out. <laughs> oh, that'd be sick. That's yeah. actually Reaction, not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not a bad idea, actually. But the vodcast might be fun on Instagram because you only get a minute worth of worth of video on Instagram. It's like, can we review this 10 minute episode in yeah. one minute with intros and outros? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got 42 <laughs> seconds to talk about the episode. Go. Minus ads. Minus yeah. ads, of course. Worst episode ever. <laughs> George is back next week. <laughs> and that was... <laughs> <laughs> Reese, rules of engagement. You're watching this for the first time. SG-1 show up. There's a battle going on. What do you think? That was hectic. I was like... Because they... Obviously, they weren't supposed to be there because SG-1 comes in and there's another SG team there they would have known. And I'm automatically, I'm thinking, Fuck, it's the second gate. Not nice. re- Not remembering Ooh. that the, the second gate's been captured and they've got it. Locked down. Mm. Right? Yeah. But then I was like, yeah, that's Kinsey. Like, the, he's sent men out. And then when they said, oh, they're not shooting back, then automatically I thought, oh, okay, it's, just, it's a training program, but it's still Kinsey. But yeah, I just, I was so confused, man. And then when I saw the SGX symbol on his, on his sleeve, I'm like, oh, this is like, you know, is, are we go, have we gone back through the mirror? Like, yeah, what's that's going what on I thought. here? Yeah, yeah. So the first confused. time I saw it, I remember going... I don't use Roman numerals to number there. Yeah. Yeah. When he you said, what squadron? I'm like, oh, yeah, alternate reality. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And then they shot him with the glow-in-the-dark bullets, and I'm like, <laughs> something's going on here. They're obviously yeah. not dead. Well, even yeah. before that. of the way through. When they're up in the hill, and you're right, it was cool. Like, battle's happening, and they're on the ground, like, sliding down full army style. I'm like, this yeah. is cool. We're actually seeing them in proper combat, but not yeah. engaged yet. And Carter pulls out a binoculars to have a look at uh, at the, you know, the, well, what we think is an SG team. She's like, oh, I can't make out the team number. And I'm like, yeah, because that's a very small patch on their shirt. Yeah. Rather than just going, I don't recognize any of the team members. I'm like, you're so yeah. elitist, Carter. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm SG1. Who is it? Was well, at least underneath SG3. And yeah. let's be honest, sir, yeah. we don't know who those guys are. We see <laughs> them in the cafeteria. Well, I that, thought that was staff. Yeah, that's what she said. SG11 was missing in yeah. action or something. Well, which was just convenient. Well, no, here's good old freaking SG-11 for you again. SG-11 was the team that were captured in spirits yeah. by Tanane's mob. I did the math. Carter says they went missing eight months ago. That's two months after they got back from the spirits mission. Really? <laughs> SG-11 gave, are just getting caught she gave the um, She gave the, the world number, didn't she? Oh, that they were... P3X47, whatever it was. Yeah, well, I think she worked it out because they... W- they went missing on that planet. So I didn't yeah. I didn't write it down, but no, I, um, 
I, I I just wondered, oh, mm. is that a planet that we've seen before? Or no, no, just no it's it just a mention one. But right. I just I just love that it's SG Eleven again yeah. getting mm. captured, <laughs> and this time getting killed. Dead this yeah. time. Dead. Thank God. Deadsies. But do we see enough um, rescue missions? Do we see the ma- major come back at all? No, he's dead. SG Eleven. No, I'm asking Maddie in future episodes. Right. I was in the actor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, no, he's the. He's the human slave guy that was pretending to be Jafar. He's not affiliated with us. Is that that's the one you're talking about? No, the no, other black guy. The SG11, <laughs> <laughs> the, the good oh. black guy. <laughs> yeah, the SG11 black guy. I d- secrets. I don't. Yeah, I couldn't. No, remember. I don't believe Spirit. so. I thought you're talking about Spirits. Dion Johnstone. So no, I wasn't. Uh, the, no, we do see him again. Yeah, the the black guy, the um, the, the other. Yeah, that was yeah. Jafar. Yeah, he actually becomes a bit of a regular in terms of. He plays a lot of prosthetic act, um, characters, so you never really see his right. face again. Except, oh, you see, except for um, the fifth in man. the Fifth Man. Yeah, but he plays, I think, half a dozen different um, characters, sort of under under CG masks that we'll um, point out as as we go along. But um, obviously, um, the casting agents and the director and stuff liked him, so he was quite happy to get him back multiple times. Yeah, I really enjoyed the Fifth Man. Him in that. He was good in that. Oh, we'll talk to that. We'll talk about that. Well, Matty didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did have to make a correction, though. When uh, we were talking about um, point of view. And I'm <laughs> such a bad if I'd forgotten the name. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about the Volcume. And yeah. go because we saw it in the... The FaceTime. Two yeah. different bits of tech. I got them confused. Right. So, obviously, we see the Volcume in this is the little tiny... Sort of ball with a base that just produces. Mm. Uh, I was in that confused, a massive apophis. Yeah, with the big FaceTime ball that we saw in the. Um, yeah, because when you yeah. said Volcum, I'm like, mm. oh, that sounds familiar, but I yeah. didn't know that was what that was called. I just I hadn't seen Rules of Engagement in so long. I thought they pulled yeah. out one of those big FaceTime balls, and that's what yeah. projected the giant apophis. But no, Me different too. different piece of technology. So this is the Volcum. We still don't know. I guess what the. Long range communication device is actually called. I think aside that's from it. Long range communication <laughs> device. FaceTime. It, they're workshopping it. You know? yeah. 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 I like the FaceTime ball. I think yeah. that's. I think that's good. Do we'll you face... think there's different messages recorded on the Volcum thing, or is like literally every time they pull it, is, is it a one time use thing, or do they bring it out whenever they need it, and it's the exact same recorded message? Oh, like, Office like, would have done half a dozen. Oh, yeah. Just to keep but is he fresh. those? Is he going, okay. Like, at the at the end of the day, they bring it up, and he's like. Listen to me, go to bed, sleep tight. <laughs> hey guys, Apophis again. Uh... <laughs> Start doing infomercials? Yeah. <laughs> Sham wow. <laughs> you think I look this gold yeah. just by accident? <laughs> Are your skirts rashing you too? <laughs> How to keep your pouch clean in three easy steps. <laughs> <laughs> what? How is that too far? They don't have how pouches. Is that? Oh, yeah, that's right. They're all humans, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right, because Carter was checking them out. She was yeah, checking yeah. at all the shirtless guys and hit it with, oh, they don't have any pouches. Yeah. I was like, sure, Carter, you're just thirsty. I want to see their snakes. You are thirsty yeah. AF. <laughs> they have the other pouch, if you know what I mean. It wasn't um, so- Tilk in his element. Oh, didn't he love it? Yeah, I, he it just, was so hilarious. I don't, I don't know called... any of these rules, do you, Carter? And Tilk's like, I do. And I'm like, oh, shit. And he, like, stepped oh. up, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Stepped yeah. forward, and he's like, Jafar. Thank free. you, Underling. I, yeah. I loved that. Like, just when he's like, oh, shit, yeah. Like, this is, like you said, yeah. this is my element. And he was just in there. Yeah. Just bossing him around. Because you see him in battle. Like, he doesn't want to kill other Jafar. He wants to free other Jafar. Like, he he never yeah. wants any of them to, to die because of the Gould and what the Gould have, have put them through. But if he's in battle with one, he'll kill them seven ways from Sunday. Oh, yeah. And in this... He'll kill himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in this, he doesn't ever want to, like, put more control over the Jafar who are under a false pretense... But if he has to, he will do that and belittle yeah. them to within an inch of his life. I yeah. love it. Like, he just establishes that them. power. Shall I have him sent for? No, I don't think that'll be necessary. Send for him. Yes. Send for him. <laughs> Shut up, Daniel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good. He just not took charge. Yeah. <laughs> he took total charge. And I feel I was kind of annoyed because they didn't really have a huddle as a group at that point. I felt like they could have gone, all right, so Tilk, give us all the intel yeah. mm. so we can come up with a way. Rather than Jack going out and going, okay, it's cancelled, go yeah, home now. Due to uh, rain. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, Which oh, was funny, like, yeah. but funny, in hindsight. But, yeah. No one's going to buy that. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I feel like Jack, Tilk, and Daniel were able to ad-lib 
in the moment. Carter yeah. kept like cock blocking them and just bringing them back down because they're like, oh yes, that's you know what we're here for or whatever. And Carter's like, hang on, wait, you think we're these people? And I'm like, shut the f- up. Yeah, they're yeah. actually helping the situation. Yeah. yeah. Like, they think that you're these people. Those other three guys are pretending to be these people. And she just, I'm like, okay, do it once. Do it twice. I was a bit like, you're annoying. She did, I want to say, at least four times. But she's like, but, yeah. but hang just, on. Why, why would you think we're this when we're this? I'm like, shut the fuck up. Clearly no, yeah, you Clearly no improv classes were in no, a Carter study. No, no. Like, yeah. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> yeah, but like, O'Neill was just running by the seat of his pants talking shit. I just feel like a little huddle could have... Gone a long way. Like I, I feel like he was annoyed that Tilk took control, and he was trying to get it back somehow. Yeah, yeah why way, didn't yeah. He he's got to let... be the center of attention? Yeah. So... Well, yeah. Why wouldn't he let Tilk run? Like he knows how to run Jafar. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing in a little huddle that, like, there's no way Tilk could give Jack all the information he needs to cover off on any potential. Yeah. No, but they could have gone. All right, up. this is the way we're going to go forward with this. We're going to try and get them to to relinquish their weapons, how best do we do that, Tilk? Yeah, yeah because you know? it would have made sense that Tilk does it. Like, he's got yeah, the, the, the gold... Why didn't they think he was... Yeah. No, he was the first Prime of Apophis. I don't, I don't get that. Like, yeah. how how are you under this control? Like, yeah. how are you yeah. training to be more like the Tauri? Everyone yeah. knows he's the Shalva. Yeah. yeah. But if well, you got that it. gold symbol, you're a, f- a yeah. big deal. Well, yeah, you're they, one yeah. of, like, how many people? Yeah. They tell the yeah. story that the reason that none of these guys are Jafar is be- and that they're human, they're human slaves is because Apophis lost his his army mm-hmm. after the, we mm. defeated him. He was we on the way, blowing yeah. up his ships. They're yeah. just cannon fodder. Farmers, so it's like probably. It, but I, surely I they've got like could... a wanted poster up in their in their camp going, <laughs> yeah. this is this his <laughs> enemy number one. Yeah, yeah well, I guess They you know could, of the Tari. I yeah. guess you could play it two ways. You could go, well, if they're followers of Apophis, they should know about the Sholva. But I guess the other flip side of this, okay, well, they're just human slaves. They're not Jafar. Mm. So maybe maybe there is a bit of a segregation in terms yeah. of segregating the Jafar from them. Because I guess in a way, the Jafar are the enforcers that keep the humans in line. Yeah. So maybe they, yeah, they didn't want to... You'd use them the as humans... an example, though. But, for traitors. Well, for Jafar, yes. But maybe they don't want to let the humans know that the Jaf- some Jafar tra- are rebelling. Yeah. So yeah, well, the, I can see both sides of it. The main yeah. reason I thought it was odd because they didn't realise that I thought that was the key moment he'd be like, oh, you're in charge because your emblem is gold mm. or you're a big yeah, deal. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, why Why is the rest of SG-1 acting like they have got some authority here? Yeah. When, like, clearly they are, they don't know what's going on by the way they're speaking, which these Jafar picked up on, this um, Captain Rogers. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. funny. Captain America picked up God, on. God, he annoyed the shit out of me with the way he did his screaming. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Absolutely. I think but, he's meant to though. Yeah, he was an annoying, annoying guy. You talking about like when he got back to the base? I actually kind of like when he's no, like, when he's like, well, like, yes, sir. Like he just every now and then we just did oh, really that was annoying... really weird. Yeah, because he'd be oh, talking yeah. one Switch. way and then all of a sudden, I'm here, another, and you're like, dude, okay, I get what you're going for, oh, well, sir. And he's just like. <laughs> He's up, mate. Jesus. Yeah, that annoyed me. <laughs> you gotta give yourself a hernia. Just relax. <laughs> when he got to, when he got uh, taken back to the SGC because he was getting taken back to see Apophis, whatever, whatever. And then they <laughs> yeah. go, "Oh, hello, my lord." And it's like, no, 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 that's General Hammond. You're actually in the SGC. <laughs> We've been lying to you the whole time. <laughs> Traitor! He just sat there, just screaming yeah. uncontrollably. I actually did kind of like that. And the, and 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 um, the docs is trying to jab him with every drug nah, she's got the, on hand. <laughs> one, the one redeeming moment he had, and it was just some, just a great bit of acting was when they're showing him the Apophis death video and when Apophis oh, does that yeah. big breath intake and mm. you just kind of just shut in. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh shit. Like that was a really good reaction that mm. I don't think everyone yeah. would think to do. But um, I really, I really appreciated that little, that little moment. A little moment that I appreciated was when they went back to try to stop this little civil war. And um, ah, Captain Rogers civil war. Yeah. I get it. I see what you're doing. <laughs> and uh, Captain Rogers... O'Neill told him to stay where he is, and then he ran across to draw the fire before they shot him. And then O'Neill just got so pissed off at him, and yeah. I'm like, and went full military. On yeah, his ass. and he's. I just love that because it just showed that he is, you know, the boss. He he is in charge of that platoon, yeah. Yeah. and you will not die under my watch. I don't give a shit if you're on my team or not. You yeah. will do as I say because I'm trying to keep you alive as well as um, obtain the objective. I, I suppose yeah. you guys all blew awesome. your loads over the, the army face paint that they had for that, that final, yeah, that that final battle. Sick. I didn't yeah. know why Tilk had it. 
pool. Look, I don't... <laughs> honestly... <laughs> had to have something to cover up the gold, didn't he? He had to cover up the gold somehow. I don't know why why Jackson was there. And I don't know why he was on the front line side by side with Jack in that little um, dugout shooting against live fire, live mm. ammunition. Well, he's I'm like, part of the team. You well, can't just He's not him. been through basic training. He's not well, been he'd, through any he'd, training. He'd fail basic training because of his eyesight. Like, I couldn't serve in the military because of my eyes. Not mm. that I would, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fighting a politician's war. <laughs> <laughs> put, me, put me in the bridge of a, a ship or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, sweet. But I'm not... So, yeah, it is interesting. That's like he, he would fail basic training. Yeah. You know, so, where on... did he learn to shoot? Where did he learn... I always liken GTA. it to um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a uh, there's time crisis too. <laughs> there's an episode of <laughs> takes his foot off a rock. He goes, oh god, that's not real. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Daniel? He's glitching. Yeah, he's just he's just walking into the corner and, and bouncing into the corner. I'm like, I can't get out. I can't get out. Um, trying to trying to literally walk up a vertical hill. Yeah. <laughs> Not trying to climb. I always, um, I liken it to an episode of Buffy where, um, like, Buffy, obviously she's super powered and then she's got, like, friends who are witches and demons and werewolves and then there's just Xander who's just a guy, you know, and and at one point they do sort of work with the military and the military going, like, questioning, like, all these people and why they're worth helping and they go, and she lists off, you know, oh, two powerful witches, blah, 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 and they go, and the boy? <laughs> and then she just goes, the boy has clocked more field time than anyone in you could possibly have, blah, 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 blah. So I kind of look at Daniel as that. Is yeah, he hasn't had any official training, but he's had more yeah, like he's a off world experience than Yeah, not in battle though. I I no. find it hard to believe. When do you know when to duck for cover and then when do you know when to get it you know what I mean? Like these well, are all things that are drilled into you over six months of training. Well well he's well he's been going off world for three years now, or well, two and a half years and he lived off world for for a year. So he's kind of mm. I feel like he, he yes, he doesn't have formal training, but he's kind of got he's had he's had an apprenticeship. He's had on the on the job training. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. obviously he wouldn't be at the level of, you know, like, you know, the S G three leaders and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like, yeah, if he was... Oh, he's under um, he's under O'Neill. Yeah. And O'Neill would have gone, these are the signals that you need to know. Yeah. And there yeah. are there are episodes in the future where... Keep your head down. Where... Yeah. Stay behind <laughs> Don't <me>. die. <laughs> where Jackson is incapacitated and he actually gets replaced on the team by... Remember, um, uh, Rothman. Yeah, he's in the next episode. Oh, is he? Oh, perfect. And Jack, like, gives him crap because he can't keep up with the rest of the team and, and he's a klutz and always doing mm. that sort of stuff. So I feel like, yeah, he, he definitely, you know, doesn't have the military prowess that, mm. you know, a proper um, airman would have. But I think he, he keeps up, obviously. That's why he's still on the team. Yeah. But yeah, they wouldn't be trusting just, him with any sharpshooting or anything I, like that. I just that. think it's too risky. Like, against the live fire, you wouldn't. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not at this stage. You wouldn't. You wouldn't Hammond risk would have him. gone sit out. You don't. They didn't need him. Yeah, he's not going to talk his way yeah, out. Of it. Yeah, like, well, he gonna, talked. Like, he get talked, a hired gun for that mission. He had the hero moment where he talked old mate around, where he said, "Well, what if I told you you were coming to meet Apophis?" Yeah, true. So he he's also a negotiator, so they might need him for if that came to a, a standstill. Mm-hmm. Maybe Hammond's just told Jack, "In for a penny, in for a pound," you know. Yeah. If you can't yeah. have him at his at his best, you can't have him well, at his worst. Didn't Jack or... say that? Like, come on, SG1's a field team. You're a part of the team. You can't stay here and look at, look at this device. I think it was message in a bottle. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he right. wanted to just stay there and mm. whatever. Yeah, but... No, I get your point. <laughs> I guess like, they're wearing fucking war paint. They knew that they, were, yeah, they yeah, could yeah. die. Yeah. You wouldn't bring a doctor that hasn't had any training into a, into a full-on battle where it's literally 100 <laughs> men versus your five. You're four, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah, fair yeah. call. Yeah, yeah. I rest my case. Um, <laughs> whatever you say, four eyes. <laughs> well, he, he was ready to smash you, man. You want to find out four eyes, huh? Four eyes? <laughs> Easy, big fella. <laughs> he's just... I love the look on his face, the eyebrows four eyes. rising, it's, it's, and he's like... It's I haven't like, heard that since grade two. Yeah, but. it's like every every bully who's ever made <laughs> yeah. fun of his entire yeah. life is just yeah. in the back of the head. He's just going, "Don't make him angry. Yeah, you Christ. wouldn't like him when he's I, angry." <laughs> I own a gun now, so yeah. <laughs> I'm literally armed right now. Yeah. If I could just jump back to my um, my previous argument where they shouldn't have had Daniel there, I th- um, you wanted it already, mate. Yeah, I want <laughs> to take it back because he was wearing the do rag. Was he? Oh, we'll make up your f- 
fucking mind. Well, <laughs> I forgot about that part. I forgot about the do rag. And he was wearing a do rag, so he's pretty ass. much in- invincible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Danny with the do rag, you can't, you can't really top that. Well, you yeah. guys have gone through your favourite moments. My favourite moment is we don't want to hear it, mate. Mm, tuna. <laughs> Is that that's that's the first official yeah. Simpsons reference, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. I we've think. had plenty of Wizard of Oz. I think this might be the actual first. Yeah, Homer Simpson. There is a dough yeah. in a couple of episodes' time. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, but I think this is the first time that Next Jack's, season, maybe. Jack's just like mm, tuna, <laughs> and even the mm, he kind of hid. Like if you've got the volume down a bit, to it, you don't yeah. even you just hear the tuna. But if you've just tuna. got up and he's like. Yeah. Mm, no. <laughs> I like it at that point that guy goes go to Solcar yeah <laughs> like, he's like go, go to, to hell that's Same another thing. reason I hate him <laughs> <laughs> I did love how the um, the Jafar on the planet or the fake chart had like a little hand drawn symbol <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. on their heads that were just slightly off that's what I wanted Hammond to have in uh, Into yeah. the Fire like yeah. that's yeah. what I wanted when he rocked yeah. up on Shulak I wanted those fake little symbols like hand drawn with the text up. Yeah, Walter, Walter and his felt pen. Yeah, just, just, and a sharpie just sticking out of Hammond's top pocket. Just you know, that's sweet. Just would it to be do touch ups. It was, it was Hammond and Walter off world, and yeah. and side missions. Just, I love it. Just Walter, just Walter off world. That's all, I'm, that's all I want. Side story. On them going somewhere, <laughs> pretending like Hammond is some kind of like god. And and Walter is his spokesperson, like he's yeah. the guy at the front, just like nah, 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 just being old Jackson about it. It's um, Hammond just sitting up on like a throne, like a boss. <laughs> he's the uh, he's like the Igor to the um, Doctor Frankenstein. Yeah. <laughs> he's just... So did they keep? Did they take those Antar guns back? And home? we yeah. never saw them again. No, <laughs> no we, we see him in one more episode. Oh, but yeah. yeah, we did take all those Antars home because that would be that's that's way better than than even Zat guns. Isn't it? Like, it looks like theirs. Disable... You can have yeah. it as a sidearm. It looks exactly the same. Yeah. I thought the same thing. Why not just have them just be their backup weapon forever? Mm. Yeah. yeah. But maybe because there's a finite amount of ammunition, whereas yeah. that seems to just yeah. last forever. True. Yeah. Um, but then if you shoot someone twice with an entire, he's not going to get murdered. No, exactly. <clears throat> All they need to do, though, is bring that weapon back into the SGC with eight minutes to go in the episode and go, we need to replicate this now! And then they would have replicated the weapon and, and ammunition forever. pulls it out forever. of her ass. Yeah. <laughs> Done! <laughs> so she does technical shit really fast. Teal, what about these? They are Intar. Short for... Intar. <laughs> they did it once, did it twice, yeah. and now they're like, nah, just an Intar. It's fine. <laughs> that was so weird when the kid goes, oh... We've been there for five cycles, which has no reference to time on Earth. And Carter goes, oh, that's around, that's around the time that we destroyed the motherships. I'm like, what? Yeah, how is it, yeah, how is it 18 months, five cycles? It's like, <laughs> yeah. sorry, yeah. what? She, does she do research on the planet that they go to, though? I guess so. Surely. It is Carter. Yeah. But it's just... That's just... That I was just tripped me out. That's mm, but all. again, it's like, well, is a cycle... A season, yeah. or is it an entire rotation of the planet? Yeah, or true. it's is it a yeah. month and a half? Is it a cycle of their what, like a, like what a, they do on base? A or is moon, it a moon cycle? Yeah, or, or is it the yeah. kids' home planet cycle? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's, that's why I was just going. That's a bit anyway. Yeah, but that's Carter with the exposition for you. She's just got to have a little bit of a yeah. little exposition. Yeah, when they were showing the the kid the death of Apophis, they were kind of like in that in that moment that you liked, Maddie. They showed Tilk, and Tilk was just so proud in that one mm. moment. And it, it's almost like he's looking at the kid going, yeah, this is the shit. Like, yeah. This is yeah. this is what I jerk off to yeah. every night. <laughs> it's like showing someone Star Wars for the first time. It's like, watch this, watch this yeah. bit, watch this bit. I Wait there, I want your father. <laughs> see, I, see, I told you. <laughs> Sam, film his reaction. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get so many hits on this. <laughs> Jack. Go get the vacuum, vacuum, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> to know the enemy, Quadrant Day has spared no detail. You've studied long and hard and know much. About Earth. Oh, yes. Corn and cotton are indigenous to North America. <laughs> and that information could save your life one day. <laughs> I mean, these guys are a serious threat, are they? I mean, <laughs> That's so good. How would Apophis know that? Oh, it was, it was SG-11. Just but, in his, oh, in his scans. You know, in his scans of the planet. He's like, corn and cotton, corn and cotton. But what kind of interrogation gets SG-11 to talk about corn and cotton? <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I'm proud SG-11, though. Yeah. yeah. 
Just Telling them like, shit like that. Yeah. Maybe they've got their own version of Jack. It's like, okay, okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. tell you. <laughs> it starts with the corn. He doesn't say the corn out loud. It's... He's just straight up. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. It's <laughs> corn syrup. It's in everything. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, it's the first time in a while we've got both an Indeed and a for crying out loud in the same episode. Oh. Oh, I didn't notice that. I don't exactly know. I don't have the stats in how long since we've had both. <laughs> Whether we've ever had both. It's certainly been a while since we've gotten either one, I feel. Mm. But uh, yeah, both within the space of about 15 minutes of each other. So they're back. This is the um, the final contribution for Terry Curtis Fox as really? well. Yeah, wrote uh, Prisoners and Secrets and then wrote this one. So Bye, that's it for him. He's a, uh, he teaches screenwriting at West California University now. Wow. It's a pity he didn't mm. do past and present. That would have been a nice kind of wrap-up storyline for him. Oh, yeah, Prisoners. that would have been interesting, yeah. I guess not. Nope. <laughs> it's time for the Get Into Gate. Harry Mailbag. Monthly. Ish. Monthly-ish. That was the last one we did. Uh, Eight weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's bi-monthly now. <laughs> yeah. Or is it... Is that bi- bi- monthly twice? Whenever I don't know. Bi- we... bi- bi- bi-weekly. <laughs> Whenever we um, remember. You know, episode, episode three or episode four of this season? I want to say like Legacy or Fair Game somewhere in there. Oh, geez, that's a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, that was, what, four weeks ago? Something like that. Well, well monthly. I might weeks. start off here then because this is probably going back to, to that long. Uh, one of our regular contributors and writers in Uras, uh, Ashley O., who has written in a bunch of times, and we've been a little bit hesitant to refer to Ashley as a he or a yeah, she. Yeah, we definitely pro- play the pronoun game with, yeah, uh, with Ash. Yeah, because we, we, based on the way that Ashley was writing, we said, well, we think sh- it might be a she. and But it's spelt Ashley the way that you would spell Ashley as a male. I don't know what we said, but uh, Ashley has sent in an email, and all it starts with is, Female. <laughs> so not not having any Sings. context, Ashley, I had no idea what this email was well, entailing. My my apologies from uh, when everyone was questioning and I said, no, nah, Ashley's a bloke. I, uh, That's right. I was completely wrong. It was a 50-50 chance and I got it wrong. Even my though you, apologies. Even though, what's your, what's your missus name? <laughs> yeah, Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, Ashley's... and she's got a haircut that makes it look like Carter. This is all coming oh, together. Right. Why, do you, yep. why do you think I like Stargate so much? <laughs> <laughs> Ashley kicks off with female dad's bad at spelling, so we got to choose how to spell my name. He went with what he thought made the most sense sound-wise. It just happens to be the male spelling. So uh, she did give us an answer to a question which we were discussing early on about Joel and our memories, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, it being, you know, basically oh, a episodes. double episode. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We're not, <laughs> yeah. we're not otherwise just going to break down Joel and We've had enough. <laughs> she said, I reckon stick to one episode for Joel and memories and the devil you know and just let it go as long as it needs to because obviously we, we didn't want to dedicate two episodes to it, no. yeah. but it is a double episode so we, do, we can press it into one. But I like that way I'm, of I'm happy to rubber stamp that. Yep, um, yep. absolutely. Yeah. Change of proof. We did and the same thing with Tokro one and two. Mm. That's true. Yeah. Thanks, um, Ash. She does go in and review uh, a lot of our last couple of episodes, so thank you. But what I uh, what I see popping out in the next paragraph, I just have to read. My parents and I have been watching SG1 on the evenings lately because there is just nothing on free to air. And mm. now, coincidentally, every time Robert C. Cooper's name comes up, my mum, who doesn't even <laughs> know this podcast exists, just shouts, Smelly Pooper! <laughs> <laughs> Purely because his name is like Shelley Cooper is Smelly Pooper from the Big Bang Theory, not because of anything else. What's more of a coincidence, she wasn't even doing it before this podcast existed. Spooky. Thank Smelly you. Pooper! <laughs> I tell you what, Ash. If we ever get a budget and we make up our own Cooper shirts, we'll send you out a unique smelly Pooper yeah, shirt. Yeah, and uh, one to Mama O as well. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I've got one here. It was a it was a reply to uh, when Mitch and Brendan went on a three day bender. Um, God, and, that was good. And blamed it on a box party. Um, <laughs> All for the reason that we didn't a, have an episode up that week. Yeah, yeah. Just, a, just yeah. a couple of mates having a good weekend together. Yeah. Just a couple of, Where's that Brokeback Mountain couple of theme sprites? music anyway? Yeah. <laughs> we had a, it was just delayed. It wasn't. Yeah. It, it happened. The podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is from uh, on Twitter from Dion and Dan. Um, is that Dion and Dan or Dion and then and Dan is the last name? Well, it's Dion and A-N. D E O N A N D A N. What did you? How would you pronounce that? Ooh. Dion Nandan. Yep. Right. He says. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> 
He says, I don't know why I love your... He slash they, say. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> well, I might have to do a bit of stalking in a minute, but uh, he slash they says, I don't know why I love your bloody podcast as much as I do. Must be the accents. Oh. Nah, you're just fucking awesome, mate. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. And you know what? So we don't get delayed next time. We're going to do it drunk and hung over off a Bucks party. So <laughs> then you'll really know what we're like. I've got one he's, here for uh, me. He's, sorry, oh. Dion and, and Dan. He's from uh, Canada. He's a novelist, journalist, professor. Ooh. So, um, and he's still listening he, to us. He, he knows what he's talking about and he thinks we're good. So. <laughs> Don, Don and or Dan, um, no. can you... Can no, it's you just getting lost in translation with our accent. Can, can you don't start with a Canadian accent, mate. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Can you oh. just... Can you just let us know? Sorry. Oh, you listen to us, eh? Can you just let us know where you are in Canada? Because if you're in Vancouver, we may have a, a get into gate mission for you. If you're anywhere in the Vancouver, British Columbia area, you've got to go through yeah. our basic training first. <laughs> <laughs> so if you get in touch with us, that'd be great. Can you get Jensen Ackles' signature? That's what we want. Ah, uh, pass. <laughs> oh, you're more of a Sam man, are you? Oh, hell yeah. He was in Gilmore Girls. Oh, God. <laughs> you walked into that one. I got one here from Dan J. Murphy, a new listener. Started listening recently. Cheers for the Walter is better at cunnilingus line. Yeah. Piss myself laughing and look like a weirdo on the rush hour bus. Good well, stuff. Mission accomplished for us then. Yeah. Absolutely. You're Especially welcome. if you're listening you to that welcome. without headphones and they start talking. <laughs> <laughs> Just got a Bluetooth speaker next to you. <laughs> cunnilingus. What is that? I a sci-fi wanna... podcast, obviously. <laughs> I want to give a quick double shout out to a couple of uh, of our regulars on our Facebook page, uh, Sarah Rebecca Bell and Aaron Percival, who oh, both yeah. wrote, into us, wrote into us in the past. Um, they're just standing up for me, uh, in particular. No, oh, cut this, cut in this. particular, <laughs> just just saying they think they think. In- <laughs> <laughs> That's three. In, in season four, in particular, they think that I need to have my my three references rule stricken from the record. For certain episodes, not the whole season, but just certain episodes, I'm going to need a little bit more leeway. All, like, all in like... favour? And they're holding on. All and opposed? That's, no. wait, 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 wait. That's, that's, well, I've, got, right. I've got two votes here. It. No, no, I've got Sarah and Aaron and me, so there's three votes. They sound like fake accounts. I, I've um, got something to throw well, up hold here. On, hold on, Aaron just wants to, wants to back up. Says, got to back up Sarah and Maddie here. Star Trek <laughs> comparisons are just inevitable, fellas. Broaden your horizons. Sounds like a Russian bot to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I've got this analogy. I know how much Maddie loves sport, but maybe we can do a three strikes and out rule, but you can have, say, a ball, a foul ball. That's not going to cut it, mate. You know what I'm like What does sports? that mean? Yeah, what I'm, I'm trying not... to say is you've got more chances. Mm. If, or... it's, if it's just a mere mention, that's a ball. But if it's a reference. But if it's a legit thing that you're going on tangent, that's a, that's a strike. I might be able to work with that, but all I'm oh, saying but is that, that means more Star Trek <laughs> in this podcast. All I'm saying there's just a couple of episodes where I'm just I just need where the referees. I just need a code word <laughs> that I can give you guys that you know that it's we're just gonna have to rescind those rules just for an episode. The safe word. Yeah, a safe word. <laughs> a safe word. That's great. Let's do that. Yeah. Cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a a few iTunes reviews here, and forgive us. Uh, this one's from May 2017. Um, oh. It's from the UK, so we haven't been able to see it, but I've ah. subscribed to something, so I'm going to get them all from around the world. Oh, that's great, yeah, because I could only sort of view the American and the Australian ones. Yeah. But yeah, I wasn't sure how many other sort of versions of iTunes are out there, so no, that's great. Um, five-star review from Jarek, which I, who I believe is Mike Crate from Gatecast. So yes, it is. Oh. Thanks, bro. Uh, uh, nothing, nice bit of pedigree there. Nothing better than listening into a group of friends talking Stargate and more so if they're from the glorious land of Australia. If you could make that sound a little bit more dull, that would be great. <laughs> Just if you can. Oh, look, if not, I'm, don't mate, worry about mate, it. Mate, first time I'm pretty well. You've known him for 30 years and you're only now pulling him up on his dead pants. He's dead inside. We know that. He's told us that. It's from his own mouth. <laughs> um, and, and he's got every, one thing wrong, Mike. Yeah. We're not mates. At least we can bullshit enough to make it believable <laughs> once a week. It goes on to say, uh, you guys are Can't great. Wait. The only downside is Reese is a... <laughs> see, you had a bit of laugh about him then. Yeah, <laughs> That's the only okay. time I've ever seen him smile. <laughs> Another one here. Yes, five stars. Whoa. Jim V31 from the Netherlands. Watch How your do you levels, like that? mate. You're going you're gonna to deafen people. Finally, a geeky Stargate podcast. Well, 
Uh, Check out last week's go. episode where it's a religious Stargate podcast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We've probably lost a fair few listeners from that. <laughs> I'm going to take a stand. Hilarious. I'm going to draw on the scene. Hilarious. Five stars. Scrumptious 77 from Canada. Thank oh, you I thought for... they were going to call us Scrumptious, and I was like, that's no, a that's great adjective. Thank you for an amazing, hilarious podcast. And lastly... You're welcome. Yeah. Joe McCready, he... You're scrumptious. I, I believe he <laughs> messaged us a few weeks back from the UK, mentioned he was going to give us a, a review. Fantastic show, five stars. Ridiculously aw- awesome discussion and banter, episode by episode, for the wonder that is Stargate. Nice. Uh, thank you, Joe. So Indeed. appreciating all those iTunes reviews, and please it, keep guys. them coming. Yeah. Obviously, the higher the stars, the better. Yeah, because I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to see them all as well, and it's not like we're just cherry-picking. Like We've been very lucky so far. The people that have reviewed us have given us really good reviews. I'm mm. just waiting now whether this is the catalyst. Like Everyone that listens to us but hates us and thinks that this show is terrible goes... I'm sick of them now. The, the equilibrium's upset. I'm going to start sending in my zero stars reviews. They must know how terrible they really are. Yeah. I mean, do it. We'll just never read it, obviously. So, <laughs> well, well, we won't read it out. <laughs> oh, we, no, we might. I mean, we'll actually. cry. Yeah, because yeah. we want to we rebuttal. Yeah, make yeah. it creative yes, at least. <laughs> you know. I mean, I may cry myself to sleep at night, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. And what no more different so than usual. usual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one here on Twitter. Scott Shaw, uh, as a reply to our legacy podcast, uh, does anyone not think Dr. Fraser is on some bullshit this episode? <laughs> She's way too quick to throw Daniel in a padded room. Thought she was on their side. So yeah. true. So yeah, true, You were Scott. off her that episode as well, weren't you? Yeah. I yeah. I mean, I was off her last season. You know, um, oh, that's right, with the Poffers as well. Yeah, when even she more was... so when yeah, she with the told Tilk, outranked Tilk, and then... Mm. Oh, you know... <laughs> so is that it? Is, is, our, well, is thing, our hairy bag empty? Or? I um I just wanted to point out too from our point of view podcast mm. on Facebook after we cut off your mic, <laughs> Jana Cox <laughs> writes, "Poor Maddie." I believe it's Yana, but nah, <clears throat> oh, in Australia, it's Australia mate. Jana, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Yana Cox writes, <laughs> Yana Cox writes, "Poor Maddie," and Brad the Oztron, big Oztron man. Uh, he writes, oh, this should be good, <laughs> based on that comment. Yeah. And it was, wasn't it? Yeah. It was so good. So you know what the thing is, though? <laughs> I saw that comment, and she commented not too long after we actually posted yeah. the link that the podcast was up, and she's, oh, my God, poor Maddie. I had no idea what she was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I edited that podcast. Just, like, it was... just another day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all it's yeah. all in good fun, guys. Yeah. Just, you know, just standard, you know, Australia, just trying to silence the vocal minority. It's fine. It's true. I mean, it's saying true. that. No, it's, it's called terrible. poppy syndrome. That's what we've got. Oh, here. yeah. Yeah. If, if there's someone else in the room that's better than us, we will <laughs> smash them. <laughs> Oh, so the constant berating is a compliment. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. It's, it's sh- well, then I what sign I, of endearment. What's so uh, hard to understand here? <laughs> You're smarter than us. We fucking hate you. Well, then I hate all your fucking guts back. <laughs> so sweet of you to say. <laughs> all right. That's episode 53, Rules of Engagement. We will be back next week to talk forever in a day, episode 54 of Get Into Gates. In the meantime, you can check out all of our previous episodes on our podcast channels. Just search Get Into Gate, a Stargate podcast. The same is what you search for when you want to find us on the social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or drop us a line, getintogate at gmail.com, as many of our hairy mailbaggers have done yeah. today. And we appreciate that, guys. Keep sending yeah, thank you. in. Because, it always uh, just yeah. feels so good when we empty it. Just, yeah. you know, it's just it that. It does. It feels free. Just that moment like, afterwards just, where you can just, ugh, just sit and yeah. just shake it out. Enjoy it. And you're like, what was I thinking before this moment? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what is my it's life? It's clarity <laughs> right now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's like the most honest you've ever been right yeah. after that. Yeah. I, but I, I feel I, like asleep straight away, yeah. you know? Like, oh, yeah. So, ready for a nap. Sometimes, Don't cuddle. Sometimes Maddie cries. <laughs> <laughs> Myself, Mitch underscore Lewis on Twitter and Instagram. Maddie, where can we find you when you're not crying? At all. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. No, there's nowhere to find me when I'm not. Uh, at high pitch Maddie on Instagram. <laughs> Brendan. At Reese is a. <laughs> still. Still. <laughs> 
They used to be mine, but I'm, I'm pretty Brendan, sure <laughs> Brendan paid good money yeah, to take yeah, it yeah, off. Yeah. Pretty he sure that's really, still a valid hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> he really wanted that, like, that that tag, so I gave it to him. But I am at the Flying Gibson. All right, we'll catch you back next week for Forever in a Day. Whew, okay, like we said, there's clarity. We feel better now. Let's go into the week. We'll catch you back next week for Stargate Sundays. Bye. I'm napping already. Get into geek.com.